Button Designer is a drag and drop tool that you can use to create graphical user interfaces for the web, that is, uh, UIs that you access through a web browser. And you can connect those UIs to a Java backend. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that, how to create a view and how to connect it to a, uh, a Java backend service that is running, of course, on the server side. So let's create a new Vadin project using Vadin Start. So go to start.vadin.com and then pick uh, your preference, Java or TypeScript. I'm going to use Java here and you'll be presented with this uh, user interface that kind of simulates how your, your application is going to work. You can add more views if you want, for example, a CRUD, where is it? Master detail, I think it's kind of a CRUD view. Uh, but we are not going to use any of this stuff over here that is pre-configured. Uh, uh, instead, what we are going to do is we're going to develop a view from scratch. So let's call this demo. Let's change this to just app. And maybe, uh, actually, we don't need a menu. I don't know if this is going to make any difference, but let's use also Vadin 20. Uh, Java 11 is all right. We don't need Docker. I guess that's it. So let's click download and it's going to create uh, or generate this zip file that contains a Maven project that you can import into IntelliJ IDEA or Eclipse if you are going to use Vadin Designer. So I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA this time. Make sure to read all these instructions here. It could be very um, informative. And so uh, let's get started. All right, so let me show you first. Well, let's clean up this a little bit because we didn't really need this stuff and also we we'll probably don't we probably don't need these so we don't need um, this reference here because we just deleted that that file all right very good now we only have this application class which is a spring boot application with a pull exciting void main string args method right the um, kind of the uh, entry point of every java application and um, and um, let's skip all these for now this is just a spring boot application with some extra configuration for dividing application now we want to create a new design so first you need to make sure that here in the preferences i think or settings if you are on Windows or Linux I think maybe it's here settings or something like that or maybe it's preferences I'm not sure uh, go to the plugins and make sure that you have installed the Vadin designer and so there are there are two this one says for framework 7 so this is a very old version go for this one currently it has almost a uh, hundred thousand downloads so I'll install that one I have already done so and you'll have to uh, I think you'll have to restart the uh, the ID but once you have done that you'll find a option here that says button 10 design so go for this it was actually 10 plus so that includes 20 right and now we're going to create a new view so let's call this demo view or uh, make sure that this is checked over here create java companion file and we can accept all the defaults here uh, sure add that and this is going to create um, two files the first one is demo view.ts for typescript and demo view.java this is the java class uh, so here, uh, this is kind of a file where uh, that, that Vadin Designer is going to use to um, kind of store all the changes you do to the to the layout or the view. And this is uh, a, a companion Java class where you can add behavior and further configurations to the view. So uh, let's wait until these uh, completes uh, um, running a webpack apparently, and and we'll continue. There we go. It's ready. Now this is uh, probably IntelliJ idea uh, doing some indexing, or uh, is it? 
we can click this and just don't ask again it's gonna be doing some indexing so again let's wait until this finishes <laughs> all right uh, that took remarkably long to complete so if you are using IntelliJ idea uh, be patient and um, it's going to to pay off after the process uh, completes so anyway um, so we, we created this file demo view TS this is where what uh, the VADIN designer is showing here so the cool thing is that you can create um, you or you can use uh, one of the templates over here or you can just start dragging these are components dragging components to the uh, to the page or the view over here and you can uh, select for example uh, um, how to visualize this like this is how it would look on a tablet for example and you can uh, for example if we wanted a form we can click this one um, we can undo this uh, or if we want a header and footer there we go or if we also want to have this kind of uh, area for for the for a menu uh, so let's uh, let's just use this I'm, I'm not going to add anything here to the header or this uh, side bar or, or the footer I'm just gonna drop some components over here so um, so all right this is what you are going to see on the screen later these are all the components that are available for example layouts vertical horizontal or just just a div if you want uh, split uh, panels or, or layouts buttons and uh, uh, check boxes date pickers grids um, password fields uh, anything combo boxes uh, you name it everything everything you need for uh, from a business application um, and on this side you have the outline which is like it's, it's like the, the tree that forms this view so it starts with a vertical layout inside that vertical layout there's a horizontal layout which is probably that one and then we have another horizontal layout which is probably all this thing here with with two vertical layouts in it and then we have another horizontal layout at the end uh, so this is kind of the the component tree now we can add components over here and they are going to appear in the in the outline so let's let's try that so for example we let's create a form with a couple of fields and then we connect that to the to the server um, but for that let's use another vertical layout so I'm gonna you can drag it here and inside that vertical layout let's start with a h1 element you can drag it here or you can also drag for example a text but in text field to this to the outline so I know it's uh, it should be inside this um, vertical layout so it goes to the end let's also add a date picker maybe let's drag it here now it's, it's it kind of shows where it is going to be uh, added uh, if for some reason you drag it drag it in a in, a, in the wrong at the wrong place you can drag you can reorder or, or move the component in the outline and let's add also a button so I guess it's much easier there we go. Uh, now let's configure the text here. Mm. Vadin designer demo. For this, it, it has a label there. So let's change that with maybe enter your name. And there's a placeholder there that I don't want. So let's remove it. Uh, for the date picker, let's also change the label to your birth date and the button probably should say something like send so we're going to send these two values to the server and process that information somehow okay very good uh, so let's um, maybe change a little bit the, the layout so first maybe I want this centered so here's a, the a cool thing is that you can uh, configure the layout so easily when you are using Vine Designer uh, for example you can use uh, a margin as well and let's uh, say that this guy should be uh, should use all the all the space there in that vertical layout but this should go to the right right so as simple as that so that was a, 
a very easy way to to create a form and that already looks exactly what we wanted and uh, let's check maybe on desktop so it's centered kind of I think it works it's gonna work all right perfect right so like I said before Valentine Designer creates two files so we are editing this file right now through through the interface of Valentine Designer and we have a demo view Java class uh, that you can access when you click this or you can just double click this uh, file of course and here you can see there is just a, 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 a value component it extends lit template uh, let's now go through the details of that uh, all you need to know that is that this is a Vadin component that you can add into another layout or or you can also just expose this to the browser using the route annotations for example demo and then you will have to go to local host 880 demo or if we don't want to write demo there we can just leave this empty all right very good so uh, how can we add behavior to the components there because we that's something we want or actually before we do that let's check that this works because uh, I think it's going to compile the project again and it, it might take uh, again a little bit of time the first time you compile this because it's going to download all the dependencies so that is a uh, uh, valid dependencies and it's going to build the the front end so all the web components uh, what I did is I, I just run this method right it's a spring boot application with a public static void main method and, and there is this launch util that that launches the browser when you are working in development mode you have to compile this using a special configuration for production and then this won't happen or if you just don't want to have that there you, you can remove this and then this little one here and that's it so you, you need this don't, don't remove this because then it won't work um, but this is what, what I what I did and once it is completed we see the header the, the side uh, bar or menu and, and the footer that we are not going to use but we have the view we just created in I don't know uh, uh, like one minute whatever if we click this nothing happens so let's add behavior to that view so we need to play with several components here uh, so we need Java references to some of these components that we dropped here uh, we don't need a Java reference to the title unless we wanted to kind of change it at runtime but we don't want to do that in this demo but we need the value here and we need the value in this uh, date picker and we need to add a click listener to this button so we need all these uh, uh, component uh, components as uh, Java variables in this class in the demo view class so th when, when you hover uh, the components over here you'll see this I think I believe it's the, <laughs> it's a Java a Java icon but so you click that and then it gets marked with the icon so let's do that with all of this so these are the ones that we need the text field the date picker and the button and when we go to the to the Java class you see that designer dividing designer added all these things now I really don't like the names that uh, it used here by default but we can change that very easily so instead of your name so look for the ID and type whatever you want whatever you want to call the variable in in the Java class uh, this could be just birth date and this could be send and that's it and now uh, this won't change really the 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 code so we need to kind of remove the the Java variable for that or member in the class and add it again and then that will uh, update or recreate the variables using the IDs that we set so now we can reference these things and we can use all the, the Java uh, methods that you can find here and if we look at the at the uh, constructor of this class there's a note there that says you can initialize any data required for the con connected UI components here okay very good thank you uh, so we can add for example a click listener so this takes an event and we can do whatever we want to do here so for example notification 
that show that it works so let's try try that out let's compile this this should um, automatically refresh the view there we go now if I click the button it says it works very good but we want to do something more interesting and the cool thing is that now, now you I guess you can see the value of this thing because we are now in the server this is running in the server side we can place a, a breakpoint here and and um, debug and see and inspect all the variables or uh, anything we want to do with the debugger run line by line etc so the power is that now we are in the Java world and we are on the server side so we can use anything Java really uh, for example what if we had a backend service so let's create a, a backend service class sure add it this is spring so we can mark this as service and let's create a public string great and um, let's receive the name and um, the birth date as well and here we can use anything Java so let's uh, let's uh, code some logic for example if let's check first that the name if the name is null or maybe the name is empty or maybe the birth date is no, I mean you can use anything Java here. You can use, for example, beam, beam validation, pass, like something different. Uh, but let's let's do it this way. So let's return. So, what's your name and birth date? Else, we can we can return. You know what? Let's create a string for that or. Um, yeah, string dot format. Let's use string dot format. Uh, hi, then some kind of string. You are some number years old, and we pass the values here. So the name, and we are going to create a new variable called age. And for this, I'm gonna use chrono unit dot years dot between birth date and local date date now and we're gonna assign these to h and we return this value so we have just created uh, a backend service that we can use how do we use that we can inject this is the view this is the constructor of the view we can inject uh, an instance of this using spring so back in service and we can out to wire this out to wire but we don't need to do this in the modern versions of spring because it's optional the annotation that is and now we can just use this variable uh, back in service greet and we have the name text field that get value so whatever is inside that text field that the user typed and the birth date that the user also selected using the date picker now let's call these a uh, message or something like that and and show it here so we just connected a uh, backend service to um, to our UI let's check that this works so first let's check the conditions so what's your name and birth date okay sure now let's select some random some random I think I can scroll this um, date over here so hi Alejandro you are 88 years old pretty old I, I'm not that old <laughs> um, but oh, almost almost <laughs> okay so let's test another one uh, ASDF hi ASDF so it, it works so it depends when, when what I type here it's gonna show identification so you can imagine that you can use anything Java here in this backend service uh, JPA or a spring uh, repositories or uh, MongoDB or um, I don't know anything Java really anything that you can do uh, with Java you can do it here and this is just one uh, one click away really the, the call so you click and you you, uh, you call a Java uh, logic so again uh, a review you can drag and drop things here 
you can configure the name of the variables using the ID uh, attribute over here or really configure anything visually as well click these buttons here to create a variable in the companion file Java file and then you can add anything Java you can configure these things further for example we want to maybe we want to say that uh, you cannot select um, a local date that it's uh, um, in the future so maybe now but not in the future and so with these uh, you will be configuring the the date picker to to not show those dates or to or to kind of uh, show them uh, uh, disabled and there are many other things you can do there right and the same with all, all this stuff um, so let's check that last thing so there you go so I cannot select these dates anymore in the future which uh, could be a good idea I can still be uh, maybe uh, zero, zero years old <laughs> alright uh, but you get the idea uh, this is how uh, Vine Designer works alright let me know if you have any questions about this topic or suggestions on uh, topics for future videos thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video